I prefer a rice that grows fast, because the water in the inland valley rises quickly when it rains. When the water rises and the rice plants are not yet tall enough, the water will get into the rice plant and burn it. But when the plants will grow fast enough to a certain height, the water will no longer be able to flood and spoil the rice. My preferred variety produces well and ripens before the end of the rains. Even when it's ripe, you can leave it and do the other work as its grains will not shatter. And when the women prepare it, it's very nice. You do not want to invite the neighbors when you eat it. It's that good. That is how I made my choice. We have planted many varieties. Some swell during cooking, others don't. The small grains swell more than the bigger ones. Each of us has selected the variety that filled her heart. To respond to changing conditions in climate, environment and markets, researchers continue to develop new rice varieties. But to know how a new variety is appreciated outside the research station is a challenging and necessary step before any new variety can be released in a country. Participatory Varietal Selection, or PVS, is a method that allows different stakeholders to get involved in identifying constraints and selecting new varieties out of the hundreds developed by rice breeders. As farmers will be the first to use or reject a new variety, participatory varietal selection requires a good understanding of farmers' knowledge, realities and aspirations. When testing new varieties, farmers also consider the cultural and social needs, as well as market demands. PVS therefore requires the involvement of social scientists. We are trained to work with those who own the land, those who take decisions about the soil and about the plants, those who organize everything on their farm. If we do not involve them in the decision-making, even if we understand his soil and bring him solutions, if we don't put the farmer first, we will not succeed. Participatory varietal selection involves many stakeholders in identifying constraints and in selecting promising new varieties that address these constraints. The method tests new varieties for agricultural performance in farmers' fields and for grain quality. Participatory varietal selection ensures that new varieties get released faster and most importantly, that seed and knowledge about the new varieties become quickly available in farmers' communities. If we have a good yield, we'll eat our fill. If someone has enough to eat, there is no more conflict.